Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, I have completed, uh, pretty much completed, I still need to go through and distress the pages, but I just wanted to um, show it to you now. Well, I had some daylight, so this was the actually the second one, but I'll show you this one first. I just have it secured with some sari silk, and this is the cover. I have um, some lace around it, some um, gold trim. It's got some of this um, metal, well, it's plastic, but it looks metal, hanging stuff, some red fringy stuff. It's got some metal. Uh, these are little metal roses around it. And then this gold trim with uh, some red bling on it. This was the one that I had tore apart because I didn't like the first cover. So there's some feather poking out from the first one and some fabric that you really can't see except up here at the top. So you open it up and on the inside there's some trim and this lace that creates a little pocket. And in the pocket there's a little It's got uh, just some trim on it, some paper. It's um, some tracing paper that's coffee dyed. Thank you to uh, Judy who did that for me. Um, it's a playing card with a word meaning card. And then on the back you can, oh, that tore. Oh, well. Um, it's got the back of the card and then the meaning of the word. I'll have to fix that. And then on this page, I just put some uh, pattern paper, and then it's got pages that pages that you can journal on. And then there's a image on top of music paper. Here's some more uh, coffee dyed paper that Judy made for me. It's got just a little mini fabric flip, and then more pages to journal on. Uh, this is a little envelope with a card on it that can be journaled on. Well, it's not on it, it's in it. And then that flips up to the uh, pattern paper. And then on this page, there's a belly band. And this comes out, and this is just a little mini booklet that you can journal in. And more journaling pages. And then this is a pocket. I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything on that card or not. I probably will. I guess I wasn't quite as done as I thought. I might have been a little premature in filming, but you get the gist of it. There's some more tracing paper. Here's a fabric flip with some beaded trim on it. And underneath, there's an image on some music paper. more journaling room, a coffee dyed receipt, picture of a gypsy wagon, more space to journal, some more pattern paper, journaling space, uh, some book pages with music behind it, behind an image, and the last page. And then there's another pocket in the back, just like the front. And in this pocket, there is a decorated little um, mini timesheet. And these are those little things I'd shown before where you can add layers and make like a little, um, just a little uh, embellishment to go on top of there. And then that's the back. So that is the first one. And this one is for sale. And uh, you can contact me either down below or I also have a um, Facebook page called Creative Moments uh, by Dorinda. And that is open to the public so you can um, access that page as well. I will put the links below. Uh, there will be more journals coming. These are, like I said, just the minis. I am going to be doing full size as well. These are just kind of like to get me started. So then this is the second one, 
And this one is a gift, so this one is not available to purchase. And again, it just has some sari silk tied around it. I can um, custom make these, so if you're interested in a custom order, um, you can also contact me about that. I would be open to uh, something like that. So that's the front, and of course it's got some of the sari embellishments around it, all the beaded ones. Uh, these are some gold ribbon roses that were gifted to me when I did my birthday challenge. Um, it's got this trim on the side, and it's got um, some metal, faux metal actually, dangly trim, and this mirrored trim. I think these actually came from Safia, who is Dust Fairies. I couldn't remember when I showed the cover. So inside we have a lace piece for a pocket. It does have some sequins on it. Bring that up so you can see it. And inside there is a little tuck spot with some paper that can be journaled on. And of course that's a playing card and a fractions card. And it's got one of the um, little sequined beaded flowers with some uh, eyelash trim. And that's the back of it. I sewed that piece on. I'm really enjoying using that sewing machine, I have to say. It is a lot of fun. And I did figure out how to get the thread to move. I did have to lift up the foot, but I had to lift it up further and I didn't realize that. So here's an image on some music pages. Spots to journal. Let's flip out with the um, pattern paper below. And this is a little card. This one is blank inside, so it can be journaled in. Uh, little uh, tracing paper that I put over top of where the other side of the envelope was. There's a little um, fabric page that I decorated. I put trim around the edges. I put an image on here and then put some gold and white cording around that just to decorate it. More journaling space. Um, this I'm going to put a paper clip on here with a dangle off it. I just haven't, I have to go downstairs and get a few things. That's why I haven't distressed yet and why I don't have them completed. But they're close enough that you can tell what they're about. It's just a couple finishing touches. Here I have some fabric and some trim to make a flip. And you can journal underneath there. Um, I also added some of that beaded dangle trim, some more patterned paper, journaling place with some lace on the edge. Um, this is actually that bag that um, Marie sent to me in that Happy Mail. And so I decorated that. I made this little um, like collage card to go inside. I can journal on the back. And then more journaling here. This is a doily that flips open, so you can journal under there. Uh, this is one of those embellishments that I made. Um, and then there's more journaling. This is a um, trim that Tammy from My World in OKC sent me, and I kind of did a page edge with it just to help reinforce the pages a little bit. Uh, this is a um, music page that flips out with lace on the edge. Um, I did this little sewing fabric and image and paper thing to put in here. More journaling space. Uh, this flips out. It has that image. Um, there is a card inside and I did write in that to the person that this is gifted to. Um, it has just some trim on this last coffee dyed page where you can journal. It's got this little piece that comes out. And it's just got this word card, this Trivial Pursuit card that I sewed some paper on the back of to be able to journal on. So again, it has that lace trim to make the pocket with the beading on it. Um, the fabric that I had put on the inside had this fringe on it. So it just added to that. And then that is the back cover. So there are my two mini gypsy jump journals um as i said 
I will have journals for sale. The one mini is ready. Um, and I will link my information below. Um, I am going to add a few more touches to it, but that's pretty much uh, the way it's going to come. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.